In this video, we are in La Jolla, California to visit an attraction that's been around since 1903, Sunny Jim's Cave. The La Jolla Cove is a world famous scuba and snorkeling spot that is known for its abundant sea life. But another thing that can be found in abundance in the area are sea caves. And while there are some sea caves that you could swim or kayak into, if you want to visit on foot, by far the best and safest option is to visit Sunny Jim's Cave. Just a few blocks from La Jolla Cove, you'll find this building that's been around since the 1920s, the Cave Store, which holds the entrance to Sunny Jim's Cave. Inside the Cave Store, you could find the typical souvenirs such as postcards, seashells, and also crafts made by local artists. And the walls are covered with information on the history of Sunny Jim's Sea Cave and La Jolla as a whole. But of course, the main attraction is right next to the cash register, and that's the entrance to Sunny Jim's Cave. As of the making of this video, it costs $7 for adults and $5 for children to enter the cave. You enter the cave through a man-made tunnel that has 145 steps in it. While the tunnel was created in 1903, the steps weren't put in until much later and originally visitors had to descend using a rope. Still, even with having to descend by rope, Sunny Jim's Cave became an instant hit, attracting up to 200 visitors a day at 50 cents a visit. The cave was the brainchild of Gustav Schultz, who was a German engineer and professor of philosophy who had recently moved to La Jolla from his native Germany. Schultz was an eccentric who was often seen swimming with a hat on his head and a cigar between his teeth. He became fascinated with the sea caves and he got to thinking, what if he could construct a tunnel to enable visitors to climb down into one of the caves? Wouldn't people pay for such an enchanting view? So in 1902, using Chinese labor, they began digging up from what would eventually become Sunny Jim's Sea Cave, and this tunnel was born. And I'll get to why it's called Sunny Jim's Cave in just a moment when we get to the bottom. Now the tunnel is pretty narrow, and there is two-way traffic in it, so occasionally you'll have a tight squeeze with people coming the opposite direction of you, but they do limit the amount of people who are allowed down in the cave at one time, so it's not really that big of a problem. Eventually there is daylight again, and you're in Sunny Jim's cave. And while I mentioned that they limit the amount of people that are allowed down in the cave at one time, I do have to say that this few seconds of footage here were the only few seconds that we were down there by ourselves. From the deck you can get a good look around the cave. Now the cave has been used as a movie set at times, including for the 1949 Esther Williams Red Skeleton picture, Neptune's Daughter which is most known for introducing the world to the somewhat controversial Christmas song, Baby It's Cold Outside. But of course the number one thing to check out in Sunny Jim's Sea Cave is the awesome view you get through the cave. As for the reason that the cave is called Sunny Jim's Cave, according to legend, L. Frank Baum, who created the Wizard of Oz and lived in the area for a time, came up with the name after a cartoon character that appeared on boxes of a British breakfast cereal called Force Wheat Flakes in the early 1900s, since the cave opening resembled the shape of Sonny Jim's head, Sonny Jim being the character from the breakfast cereal. After spending a few minutes looking around the cave and admiring the view, comes the hard part. And that's going back up the 145 steps to get to the exit. If you were wondering what the view from the top of the cave looks like, there is an observation deck just a few feet from the cave store. It's not part of the cave store, so there is no admission. It is absolutely free to visit, and you can get some great views of the coast and Goldfish Point. This is also a great area to check out seals and sea lions, as there are usually a ton of them hanging around. On our visit, we saw at least 50 just lounging around on the rocks. So that's our look at Sunny Jim's Sea Cave. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and we'll see you next week.